How's it going guys? Tony from HonestGamesReviews.com Taking a quick look at that Cube Director's Cup which sees a release this week on a few consoles. Uh, you've got the PS3 and PS4 version in America released on July 21st. Uh, globally on the 22nd on the PS3 and PS4. And then us guys on Xbox here release on July 24th with an August Wii U release. Uh, in terms of cost you're looking at paying $9.99 in dollars uh, for us guys in the UK. However that's going to translate to about just under £7 I think I've been told. Uh, so I'll know more once it's released obviously in the store and I'll kind of update the description below but like I've been like I said it's been told it's on just under seven pounds so it's certainly going to fall into that category of you know budget titles if you're looking at picking up a new release this Friday. Uh, my kind of first look at this game at least was Res in it kind of a, which is like a UK based indie event run by the guys at Eurogamer which was uh, a few months back if memory serves me correct it was kind of like a an Xbox stream that I was watching that kind of showcased all the upcoming indie titles that was coming to ID Xbox uh, and this was kind of one of the games that stood out for me. Uh, it was only stood out to me for the very reason that it kind of reminded me a lot of Portal uh, what with the uh, whole game basically manipulating the world around you to kind of progress into the uh, you know further into the game uh, with Portal you kind of obviously had the portals to kind of move around but this kind of this is your gloves that do with kind of the different colours that you kind of have to move the blocks around uh, which hopefully you kind of get to see a lot of in the 10 minute video that follows me kind of yapping on here uh, but like I say it was one of the, just one of a few games that stood out for me so it was certainly going to be a game that I picked up when it released uh, onto the console uh, you know like I say with a few other titles uh, so hopefully you feel the same after watching the video uh, if you've not heard of it before like I say if you're an Xbox One owner like me you can expect to pick this up this Friday for like I say just under £7 uh, but if you own a Playstation 3 or Playstation 4 like I said globally at least it releases on the 22nd uh, but if you live in America you can pick it up on the 21st uh, so yeah what I'll do is let you like, watch the first 10 minutes or so uh, and let you see what you think of it uh, thanks for watching the video if you're not subscribed to the channel already please do uh, drop a like to show your support on the video uh, to the channel and uh, I'll be back again soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye And what if it didn't kill him? With all due respect, your best guess is still just a guess. We need to have faith in the possibility of good. Wait, hold on. His oxygen consumption's going up. I think he's alive. He's conscious. Hey, go steady down there. You've been out for a couple weeks. Fifteen days, in fact. They thought you were dead. If it wasn't for your life suit, you probably would be. Listen, there's been a complication. We can't link into your POV camera, and it looks like communications are only working one way. You can hear me, I hope, but I can't hear you. That means we don't know how badly you were affected by the transportation. If you're feeling confused or disoriented, you should know that deep space travel can do you pretty serious psychological damage, especially to your memory. Even a few hours out there in the dark can cause permanent problems. I'm going to be honest with you. Mission Control are concerned you might have no idea who you are, or why you're in there. If that's true, I have some difficult facts for you. You're a long way from Earth. A very long way. But every single person on the planet is depending on you. That thing you're inside right now, whatever it is, is gonna hit Earth in the next few hours. And if it does, that's the end of everything. You need to decipher and dismantle it from the inside before that happens. I just hope you haven't forgotten how. We all do. Now listen carefully. This is important. The reason why it's me talking to you and not mission control is because you're too far out into deep space. Their signal can't reach you out there, but mine can. I'm Commander Novak. I'm an astronaut on board the International Space Station. I'm going to relay everything they tell me, but the bad news is, every time I orbit around the far side of the Earth, I'll move out of radio range. When that happens, you're going to be on your own for a while. Just stay calm, and keep your head straight until I get back into range. Okay, this is it. I'm orbiting out of range now. I'll be back soon. Just remember what I've told you, and believe it.